Like, where are we at right now? Where are we sitting at? Right now, we are in Zaytopin's basement. How long have you been producing music for? Started around like 98. So dang, that's a long time. How many years is that? I don't even, that's, that made me sound old. I feel old saying that. So yeah, about 20, I'd say about 20 years. We'll roll with it. Just roll with it how it is. Growing up, I wasn't even allowed to listen to secular music. It was all gospel music. I played music at church. I played a keyboard and organ at church. So that's what even got me interested in even making music. It wasn't until Dre Day, like the Chronic album, when I was able to sneak and listen to rap music. And man, when I say it just caught me and snatched me up, you know what I mean? The music, it was just infectious. When I moved to Atlanta to my folks' basement, I had my own little studio. I went to barber school. I started cutting hair, and one of the guys there he knew Gucci, man, but Gucci wasn't Gucci, man. He was, you know, just another guy like we are. And I just was like, I thought he was just the dopest in the world. So it turned into every day in the morning. Is that you up? You want, you want to do some music? Yeah, come on, let's do it. I mean, I got the Gucci, man. I got Soldier Boy. I got OJ the Juice, man. I got Gorilla Zoe. I got, you know, all these local stars that's using all Zaytoven music. Usher people reached out to me. I did his song. His song went number one. My name just started getting big to the point where I couldn't go to the barbershop and cut hair no more. People don't want to get no haircut, they want to come and get signed to a record deal. <laughs> Most people know me for creating music in the basement. It's just I want a small, personal, intimate space. It's where I'm comfortable, it's where I feel like this is my spot. When rappers used to come over, they couldn't tell me they didn't like a beat. It's my spot, I made the beat, you gotta rap on it. If you don't like that, get out of my house. <laughs> it takes me back to being hungry, it takes me back to like trying to make it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get too much stuff and it's too big and it's just, you know, it's gonna come out too pretty. You got to stay hungry. We on? Yeah, yeah. The way I start my creative process, sometimes I might start off with a drum pattern. Sometimes I might start off just playing keys. But once the building process starts, it's like it ain't no stopping, it's just going. I think the music, you have to love to do music. You gotta wanna do music no matter what. Like music gotta be something that's instilled in you. I would do music if I didn't get paid one dollar for it. 